All right. If you don't have your tickets yet for March 22nd to go see Kristen Toomey at Zany's, you better get them ASAP. One of the funniest ladies here in Chicagoland. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be doing this. It's weird. I'm not good with the Zoom. I've been like a nervous wreck all morning, almost to the point where it's easier for me to just go somewhere. I think I'm like, I'm setting up this ring light. I'm trying to get the color right. It's very, uh, but I'm I'm excited to meet you. I've been waiting all day. Well, it's, it's one of those things that like we never did Zoom and then suddenly it became our lives. And then some people do it all the time and other people don't. And it's, it's so crazy. Yeah, I'm not really, um, I mean, it's so handy. You know, it's, I see the point, but I'm like, I feel like much more comfortable in person with someone you know, but you, you've got, uh, you've put me at ease. You've got a great smile. So yeah. Thank you for doing this. Oh, of course. Yeah. I'm so excited to be chatting with you. I've seen some of your stuff before and you talk that your mom is your landlord. Tell me a little bit about that. And how does that work out? Well, um, I can't tell her if I get any money for like a gig, like good money. I can't tell her cause she'll ask for more money. So um, that's one way. But she lives next door. She owns this building. My mom uh, bought this duplex from my ex-husband. And um, I moved in next door to one of the apartments. So um, I think they were worried about me ending up on the street. I don't know. So, um, yeah, she's my landlord, which... uh, there's a squirrel in the attic right now. And it's like, if this was somebody else's place, I would be going completely nuts. But it's like, I can't, she's like, yeah, I'll get it. Like, it's like, I guess I just have to live with that. Um, But it's nice. I feel like I'm kind of like her Kramer. I just walk in all the time. And um, she's always like, oh gosh. And I come over and I take peanut butter and toilet paper and things like that from her. are you like, what's for dinner or any of that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Yeah, or I usually just am like it, like judging what she's eating and she hates that. She's like, do you just come over here just to like poo-poo what I'm doing? And so, yeah, I don't know. It's it's nice though, because um, we both got divorced at the same time. So, um, yeah, I don't know. We were, we, we get along great now. Um, it's helpful. Does, does any of those stories end up in uh, in your set? Sometimes, you know, I mean, if it, I have talked about like, she's all about TikTok. Now she wants to, <laughs> this is actually her ring light that I'm using because she wants to like start making money off TikTok. And I'm like, well, unless you're going to show, I don't know what you're going to do, but I don't think you're going to be making a lot of money. Um, so yeah, she like wants to do these dances and all this TikToking stuff, and um, it's interesting, you know. It's nice. I hope my daughter, um, and I are this close when it's the other way around, you know. You talk about your kids. You said uh, you hope that you and your daughter are just as close when the situations reverse when you guys are a little bit older. Um, yeah. Who's a fan of your comedy? Is it do your your daughter and your son? Do they do you test out material on them? Do they become a part of the set? Tell me a little bit about that. Um, my son is a big fan, very supportive, and I do run things by him um, sometimes. And my daughter is very funny herself, and and doesn't really care about the comedy so much. She's kind of like doesn't want to hear about it, but I think that'll change. But I've been saying that for 14 years now. I think she'll come around. No, someday so- <laughs> all, I think I hope. I don't know. Was your mom the, uh, the funny one growing up? Is that where you got your inspiration from? My mom's very dramatic, very, um, very dramatic. She thinks she's funny. And then my dad's very funny, but very like, um, I think you'd probably call it mean. So the two of them together make me, I think, dramatic and funny and mean. (laughs) 
the trifecta right there. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. And then what, what can you preview as far as like some of the topics that you might be uh, bringing up on the, uh, on the 22nd there at, uh, at Zany's? Um, well, I've been talking about my struggles with anxiety because, um, mostly because it's just, it's a big part of my life. So it has to, I have to mention it somehow. And I try to keep it brief because I don't want it to seem like, um, but I think it's helpful for people to talk about it and it helps me like if I'm feeling anxious, it just admit it when I'm up there it kind of like makes it go away. And I find, you know, that's like a little trick that I've been doing too. It's like when you're just honest, people don't like it, but if you can be honest, you can, you can get away with it more up there. So it's like you have an opportunity to say how you really feel up there, which I don't know. It's like very healing. I think that's why people go to therapy, but I, I can't generate enough material for a therapist. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'll talk about my kids. I'll talk about anxiety and maybe um, talk to the crowd a little bit, see what they're up to, if there's something that needs to be talked about. And then, um, yeah, talking about just uh, talking about, I don't know. Um, <laughs> we got to go to the show like, and go check it out. I also want to yeah. know the, the final thing here before we go. Has your mom been texting you as far as like, where's my ring light? When are you bringing it back since you just borrowed it for this interview? She will. I mean, honestly, she's gone. I think she went to her boyfriend's house, but she, if I don't bring this back, she will be, she will notice and she will be upset because I, she's like, you're gaslighting me. And I'm like, what? Cause I borrow things and um, she thinks that's gaslighting her sometimes. I don't know. All right. Well, I don't want your mom to get to get too mad at me for, for letting it. So as soon as we're done with this, please go bring it back so that uh, <laughs> <laughs> you don't, yeah. I don't, want, I don't want a mom mad at me and I don't want a you know, future TikTok star getting mad at I me. Know. Yeah. She's going to be very influential shortly. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, Kristen, thank you so much for your time today. Check her out March 22nd at Zanies in Chicago, 1548 North Wells, chicago.zanies.com, where you can go ahead and get those tickets. Thank you. Thank you so much.